It's raining today, so I can't do the um, soapbox race. So I'm wondering what I should... Ah, there's some stuff I can do. Well, I'd better get started, hadn't I? So the problem we need to fix is that um, this is kind of misformed and it's plugging it it's up some holes so that like um the air can't get out and there's not enough oxygen for the fire so um we got a new glass tube um but dad wants to know what kind of steel it is so we can make a new one um this one is cast iron this one says it was cast iron I'm not sure that this is cast iron. In fact, I'm almost certain that it's a kind of stainless steel. And um, I want to figure out what kind of stainless steel it is so that I can make another glass tube out of stainless steel if this one breaks. Here's the um, two pieces of steel. This one we definitely know is SS304 um, because it actually says it on it. And SS304 is supposed to be mildly magnetic, and you can fuel it with a strong magnet like the one I have here. There, I'll put it somewhere that you can see. Um, there. This one is not mildly magnetic. According to the specifications, it's cast iron. Um, but we don't think it's cast iron. Um, so it's either um, SS316 or SS310. So um, you would think it would be uh, SS310 because um, that's furnace grade. But it has lots of holes, so, so they could get away with it being um, SS316, which is just like, you know, a bit, a bit kind of high grade. It's like high grade stainless steel. High grade ordinary stainless steel. Um, so, yeah, we're not actually sure. Oh, I've just made a very exciting discovery. This is two different. These are two different types of steel because this part is slightly magnetic, but this part is not slightly magnetic. Well, we'll better do a spark test to test out to figure out if this is furnace grade or just like ordinary high grade stainless steel. So we're going to be grinding the metal for the spark test with a carborundum disc. And um, if the spark that comes off is um, orange, then it will be SS304 or SS316. We already know it's not SS304, so we so if it's orange, it'll be SS316. Or um, but if it's red, it'll be SS310. It's dark because of how to see the spark. One on the left we we know is SS three oh four and the one on the right we don't really know what it is but we're pretty sure it's SS three one six because they look the same colour. Now that we've figured that out we can put <coughs> everything back together. But first they need to dismantle the stoker. If I was a great Glaswegian like my grandma, this is what I would use. It's called a Glaswegian screwdriver. But since I'm not Glaswegian, I'm going to be using New Zealand screwdrivers. First I've got to switch off the electricity. the workshop um, with my workbench and now I can dismantle it into really little bits with my New Zealand tools. I'm interested to 
see how many how much ash is in the shrouding because um I'm wondering if the fact that the fire is not burning properly is because of a build up of ash in the um between the blast tube and the housing or whether it's just due to the um fit to the deformation of the um blast tube. Okay, that's how much ash was in there. Annoyingly, that could have been enough ash to do it. If it was a bit more, I would have said it was all down to the ash. And if it and if it was not, and if it was a bit less, I would have said it was all down to the blast tube. But annoyingly, it's just like that amount that you can't really say which it is. Now you can really see how damaged the blast tube is, and you can um and you can see that we'd have to cut it up to get it under the shroud. But luckily, we've got a new shroud as well, so. We will we will cut it up later, but um, not now. Something interesting when you compare the new and the old one. This one, the old one, as you can see, has a lip, and Dad thought that lip was to um keep the sand, the um dust, and so it could do fluidized bed combustion. But um, the new one doesn't have a lip, so that can't be right unless they forgot to put it on. I've reversed the, the um, dismantling pr procedure with the new um, pieces and I can see that the igniter is lining up if, if, if it, 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 it looks like it will work um, even if it doesn't it looks like it should work being all nice and shiny it's all reassembled right, now let's just go put it back in the boiler Let's switch it back on. It's been through its startup machine, and that works. Now let's see what the f flames like. Well, that seems to be working pretty well.